Good morning, ladies. It is a get ready with me from the time I get out of bed to the get my makeup on. We're going to do skincare and hair. Oh, you're going to see how fun it is to get Lala ready in the morning. First thing I do is I take my Omni Lux mask. Well, this is the Deck Look dish. I'm going to put that on. If you haven't tried one of these, these are amazing. And there's all different kinds and all different price ranges. I just finally settled on this one and am loving it. All right. There you go. Once I get it all situated, find the, yeah. Then I turn it on and I let the magic happen. <laughs> this would have been a great Halloween mask, wouldn't it have? All right, and then I'm going to kick back for 10 minutes and let it do its wonderful magic. And then I'll meet you in the bathroom, ladies. Oh, oh, oh. boom. Okay, ladies, here I am, all feng shui for my uh, LED mask. It's just so wonderful. Okay, I had laser genesis yesterday and they targeted my dark spots and my rhoatia. I have so much sun damage that these spots are not from being exposed to the sun. Now it's from years and years and years and years and years and years being out in the sun and not protecting my skin. All righty, now we're gonna get on with the skincare. Since I washed so well the night before, I just take my Mercellar water. This one's a Bioderm and I got this at Costco. Then I take my little um, disposable uh, wipes. These are by Clean Skin. So you can use them a couple of times. How are you ladies? Woke up in a really good mood. <laughs> oh, that feels good. I like my water. I like it all cold, even in winter. I know. All righty, you just, this really helps get off anything I might have missed, gutch from the night. All right, when I'm done with that, I usually go right on to, depending which day of the week today, today's Thursday, I would use my ordinary lactic acid 5%. That helps get rid of the dry skin. It's an exfoliator, but it's very mild. Then, if it's a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, I use Timeless currently. It's 20% vitamin C, and it's actually ascorbic acid. You want the real thing, not the uh, long names I can't pronounce. But instead, since I've had that laser, I'm just going to go straight to my Neogen. Um, this is this micro... I, can't, I always pretend like I can read. <laughs> Ferment Micro Serum. I don't know what the ferment means, but I certainly love this serum. This, oh, yeah. See, it goes on again, Christina, like butter. And I try to stay away from my eyes because I'm going to do my gold and collagen firming eye patches. These are the ones that are 60 for uh, 15 bucks. They go on great. They, and they're fashionably pretty. I'll do anything for fat pockets, ladies. But this feels so wonderful. I keep them in the refrigerator. Oh, 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 oh yar. Okay. Yes, even in the winter. All right, I'm going to go get me some coffee. And then we're going to do something with this. Okay, here we are in the hair studio. <laughs> this is second day hair. So it's not going to take a lot of um, styling to get it to where it is. I'm lucky with, with the short hair. I found the combination to make it work. Uh, when I wash my hair... I use this well, raise the roots, right at the roots. Then I take my quick blowout a thermal spray. And I will do that today as well. I'm going to use my little blow dryer and I may need to use my little flat iron. So the first thing I'll do is I'll spray with my, not in your face, gosh, with my thermal protect. <laughs> and I will take my hot tool and put it on low, ladies. And then I'll just kind of follow where I did yesterday. And, you know, second, third, fourth day hair styles better. Some people cannot do that, but I do that. Plus, it does keep my hair from drying out and getting brittle. You need to have your natural oils in it as well. It's a mature laden hairstyle, okay? You don't really need a lot because of the second day hair. You know, I still have those products in it. 
And if I want to get real technical, if I have like a flatness, I'll take my little flat iron and puff up the areas or make them look less make them look less funky. So I like it. I'm not a fancy, fancy hairstyle girl. Okay, now that was all I needed. Let's see how the back looks. I have a hole back there. It's probably right. So I try to cover it up. I need a trim in the back. All right, ladies. Let's go right on to the hodgepodge of makeup. And when I say hodgepodge, I mean hodgepodge. I'm using uh, CoverGirl, um, e.l.f. I love my Lancome tint. It's the closest to my skin color to help cover all my spots today that are more exaggerated. I want to tell you about the Laser Genesis. Now, this is great. Listen to this. Laser Genesis is a laser treatment technology that doesn't require skin removal. Well, thank God for that. And instead uses the heat from the laser to stimulate collagen, reduce fine lines, improve skin texture, and minimize pores. First, we're going to take my City Lips. I like to put this on. It's a City Lips plumper. Why I like it is that it doesn't tingle or anything and it does help increase my lip size. It's not like fish lips or anything. Next I'm going to apply my Lancome concealer. This is the one I also use when I'm doing just a light makeup. I just cover up the spots. So we're going to do that right now. Try to get as close to your skin tone as possible because this is a this is different than under eyes. We want that to be lighter under the eyes. Uh, this just you want to match your skin tone. You want to let it set too before you put on your makeup so it doesn't rub it off. So I'm going to go, oh, it's easier now to see all the spots she zapped. Take my little beauty sponge from e.l.f. It's a little tapered one. It's really cool. And then I start doing this. Oh, I didn't get up here. Now we're ready for the foundation and I am going to use this CoverGirl True Blend in M60. Hopefully it's been you know, at least six weeks since I've done this, but I remember I loved it dearly. So we're going to put this on. All right, I'm going to dip, 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 and I'm going to go right to the areas I want the most coverage. Oh yeah. I think it still is lovely of a color. It's got a lovely, uh, it's very creamy. You should pat, especially having put on the, uh, the concealer first. Blend, ladies, blend like the wind. Next, we're going to do the eyebrows. So I'm still, I'm using my NYX, my NYX brow in ash brown. I've learned something on brows that if you comb the hair down, now I have a template, but those of you that have hair, this will be just the top of your brows, and then you follow that. All right, so I'm going up over the top line. You can see it a lot better. All right, so I go, I go, as, so I make a little, follow that up here and then over. And then when you're done with that, you brush them up once you've done that, then you fill in and we'll soften it. I have a heavy hand. Okay, look. All right, then you take your little spoolie and soften it. What little hair I have, I take my e.l.f. A gel. One side is for, you know, and I can't even tell which side. They both look exactly the same to me, so I don't think it matters. All right. And then I am going to kind of, yeah, get them in place. Keep them from being fruity. All right. <laughs> so let me show you my eyeshadow palette. This is by ColourPop Deja Vu Brows. Look. <gasps> Is that pretty? Oh, and I don't even know what colors I'm going to use. We'll decide on a whim. That's how I like to do things. I'm going to take my NYX HD photo, you know, that big long name. 
and put these on my eyelids. I think it's COWO2. You gotta find your color. Just a shade lighter than your normal color. And then I'm gonna take my little brush first, my little concealer brush, and then just keep working it. You want it to set in and you wanna go all the way up to your brows. That just, I found that that works for me. You wanna work it so that it doesn't get creasy. Elf, out there, and just pat. Don't drag. No drag racing on your eyes. Okay, next, it's Laura Mercier powder. Just lightly. I have a heavy hand. That's why it's good to hold it back at the side. Uh-oh. Alrighty. That'll set it good. So I'm going to use my flat one. <laughs> I can't talk very well. I'm going to use this flat brush here to pick up my lid color. And I think I'm going to have that this gold habit. Oh, at least they have their cute little names on the front of this palette. Alrighty. I'm going to dip in there. And I'm dipping on the side because I'm putting it on my... Oh, I can tell it looks really pigmented. Brush on, get up. Flat, like a flat iron. All right, now I'm going to go careful. Oh, pretty. And I like to do this like into where my iris is. Oh, that's a pretty color. Very, very subdued. And Oh, you're... Okay. Gotta cover that real estate. Alright, see what I'm gonna do for my um, crease. Uh, how about pick-me-up? <laughs> right there. Oh, wait. So I'm gonna take my little crease, a little crease brush like this, and I'm gonna dip it in that on the side again, because I'm gonna use the side of the brush. And I'm going to take it like a so, and I'm going to go just, and I'm opening my eye for this. And I can close it and look. My crease has to be higher. Experimentation. I'm always experimenting. I'm going to do some more eye tutorials. I'm going to find some different techniques. Find where you're hood is and go above it. Unless you've got a perfect hood. I don't want it to, now I want to blend it a little because I don't want it so dark. I have such deep set eyes that I don't, I want to pull my eyes out, not make them deep, not make them concave. I'm learning right along with you, my beautiful ladies. So why I'm so happy this morning I get to do this with you. Uh oh. All right, now let's find the corner color. Oh, and I guess I'm going to go ahead and go in with Double Shot. Okay. Oh, and they're named after coffees, are they? And I am going to go on this. I'm going to roll it. Okay. Wow. And then I'm going to go a V. Don't just start a V. They're just... Okay. All right, I'm going to do a V. See, lady? Following my eye shape. Bringing it down. Yeah. Make it all subdued. Mm. Roll. 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 Zinzi. Hey. How many of you watch Young Frankenstein? <laughs> oh, I love those shows. I just love insane comedies. Arthur. Oh my gosh. Arthur was fabulous. And Arthur too. Um. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Oh, there's so many. So many. I can't even say what my favorite is. All right. I'm going to do my little. It looks really prominent. But we're going to fix it all up. Huh. We will clean it, ladies. All right. Now we'll take the Fluff Fluff McGruff. I think these colors are gorgeous. But I don't like them real, real. A lot of people like them real dark like that, so you don't want to blend too much. I, however, then I'm going to take the original here because I think it went a little too high with the dark. Just what's on it, I'm going to cover that area back up. 
Rolling. Yeah, that roll, roll, rolling Z hay. That was from um, Terry Garr in Young Frankenstein. That show was just nonstop. And Spaceballs. I know, I am just so mature, aren't I? Uh, laughter's best medicine. Or is it wine? Is wine the best medicine? I'll have to uh, do a test and see. I'm going to take my finger because it's a little real shimmer. To stab it here and then put it ooh, right there. Dab it and put it ooh, right there. There is no reason at our age we cannot have some glimmer. Glitter glimmer. You go for it, ladies. This is all, this is our time, okay? We are in the golden years and we are going to make the most of it. All right. Now I have uh, my uh, Urban Decay waterline. I'm going to be using that up. It really is a fabulous uh, waterline too. So I, as again, as again, as I say, I follow the lash line. So I got to do a um, a review on Revital Lash. See if I can't get their attention so that I can get it, so I can get sponsored by them and then bring you discounts because this stuff is amazing. The corner. A little bit in the corner, All right? And then I take my little finger and just bring it up a tad. We want to bring our eyes up, my huh, ladies. All right. And now I have Lancome Lash Idol. The reason I got this, my girlfriend from California, we went shopping and we went into Ulta and Sephora and they have the little uh, small sample sizes that you can get. They can still be spendy, but I wanted to try this. She said it was fabuloso. I don't know if it would be more fabulous than my uh, elf. So it's got a little curved wand, and we're going to do it. Oh, okay. It's so much easier now that I have behaved lashes. Right? The other eye. Mm. Oh, this is beautiful. It's not clumpy. I like the um, brush. Okay. Now I can go ahead and do some cleanup under my eyes. I'm going to take my nicks, my nick nick nicks, and I'm going to go right here. And you want to go in the shadows. Okay, I have deep socket eyes, so I have some shadows there, and of course, in here. Less is more, less is more. Take my uh, concealer and pat it in. Pat it on the shadows. Clean up this little corner here. Just pat right in the shadows. Faces, funny faces are required. Take my powder, swirl it, and we're going to just kind of press it in, I think. All right, now I'm going to powder. I'm going to powder my face. You got it. Mercier. Dip, 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 dip. All right. I say all right a lot. All right. Take my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer to use it for contouring. Take my little contour, contour brush by e.l.f., smack it in there, and I go right here. Right below the cheekbone, not in the crease. Go all the way up. We just want a little contouring, ladies. We don't want to look like a... Um, we don't want to look like a clown. Some people do. Clowns do. I guess I shouldn't make fun of clowns. That's an art putting that clown makeup on and then getting it off. <laughs> now for the blush. I'm using the CoverGirl Plus Blush Soft Mink. Okay. Take my, whoop. So dangerous. And I'm gonna dip, dip, dip it in. Oh. Can't tell which way it's going. Ooh. And this is, if I recall, very pigmented. 
for such a soft color. I can do a little bit. Now I have to uh, wipe off City Lip. And I like my makeup to be on my lips somewhat. It helps the um, it helps the lip liner go on. And this is I'm still in this phase of the Charlotte Tilbury little trial size I got in Pillow Talk. I'll take my little mini <laughs> Pillow Talk lip, a little little gloss, and I. Dab it like a so. Here was the get ready with me, with you, today. It's just so fun to do hodgepodge makeup. I'll be looking for those, because I keep building my arsenal with all these things you want me to try. So and then I like to mix and match them together. It's just too fun. You just get something new every time. All right. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for your comments, for your subscriptions, for your likes. It really helps me build my channel so I can bring all this fun stuff to you. All right, ladies, stay warm. Good luck on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I know I'm going to need it. Love you ladies so much. And again, Lala is out. <laughs>